Next on Great Day at 9A, why parents might have some trouble helping soothe cold or flu symptoms. A new surge of hard-to-find medicine. Maybe a new toy could help make the littles feel better. We're exploring local toy stores to help find the perfect present and shop small this season. A holiday-themed workout designed to keep you moving in between shopping trips and holiday parties. Our five-minute fitness team is here. And it's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. We've got the eight fragrances of the season live with the Fragrance Queen. It's all ahead on Great Day at 9A. I had no idea we had a fragrance queen. Yeah, apparently. Uh, we, have, we had a queen of Christmas, Mariah Carey. <laughs> but she's, I've, now we've got a fragrance queen. There this you is, go. So how are you? I'm, I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Good. Nice weekend? Oh, yeah. It was a great weekend. We were down in Saybrook for the lighting of the I know. We'll have a little tree. bit more on that coming up in just a bit. How yeah, exciting. Yeah. Uh, but everything is starting to look how a lot How did the weather like cooperate? Christmas. Was it all right? Um, you know what? It was exactly what you predicted. Right. It was gonna. It was a nice little peak of, uh, you know, stillness, <laughs> if you will, like all right during calm, the lighting. All was dark. I know. There were a lot of events over the weekend that were postponed to Sunday but yeah. those that you know the tree lightings at night at least we were able to light without being in the rain so. okay well we are gonna get a check of the headlines right now so the father of accused murdering his 11 month old daughter will face a judge today in Waterbury unfortunately Christmas uh, Francis Queenie was fortunately captured was arrested at a bus stop on Friday thanks to a tip from the public he'd been on the run for two weeks right now he's being held on a five million dollar bond we're going to have a crew in court, and we're going to let you know what happened on, on air during Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon and, of course, on the Channel 3 app. And we also have a consumer alert for parents right now. There's a new hard-to-find medicine for kids, and that is painkillers. And this could be especially important with respiratory illnesses, which are, as you've been hearing, they're on the rise right now. Absolutely. Johnson & Johnson, which makes children's Tylenol and children's Motrin, is increasing its production. Now, the company says there isn't a shortage of these medications, but some products may be, quote, less available in certain areas. What does that mean, less available? I don't know. I don't know if it means there's a spike in certain areas. Areas, so that they're well, flying off the shelves. I mean, we've been hearing about the, uh, you know, that sort that RSV, RSV, and uh, and the flu, and yeah. it's really taking its toll. And a lot of a lot of kids succumb to that. So hopefully that they can get the medicine that they need. I know. I mean, this is such a concern though for parents right now who are battling. You know, kids are in school, coming home sick, and a lot of the doctors and experts are saying they're concerned about the combos of RSV and flu, or COVID and flu, COVID right. and RSV. So, right, so. Uh, but you know, those children's painkillers they keep your kids' fevers down. So. That's huge to have those. So you might want to go out. Don't don't buy like 50, but you know maybe make sure your house is stocked with the children's Absolutely. Tylenol. All right, let's take a look at the great day at 9. A forecast uh, started off this morning. Boy, it was crystal clear, and it still is out there. It's absolutely delightful. We are taking a look at a mostly sunny start, but as you can see here from early morning future cast, some clouds roll in by later on this afternoon. Not a big deal. We stay dry during the day today. Tonight will be mostly cloudy. And then this is around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. A few maybe passing showers, but most of tomorrow is dry. This is noontime. We start to see some rain, but it really stays at bay just over the border in New York and uh, parts of Massachusetts. But this is 4 p.m. for us. Now, tomorrow night, well, that's a different story. As you can see here, it is going to be raining Tuesday night through the day on Wednesday. So Wednesday is looking like a real wet day. So if you have outdoor plans and you want to do some decorating, might I suggest today because it's <laughs> going to be an okay day. Temperatures are actually going to be a little bit above average. 47. I, I think even along the shoreline we'll make it into the uh, low 50s in parts of the shoreline despite the fact that it only says 47 there. I think we're going to get a little bit better. And of course I'll have more on that forecast coming up in just a bit. All right. Hey Scott, when you're buying something new, how much do you depend on those reviews? I, I really don't look at reviews. You don't? No. Believe That's it. Good. Except the car. I go to Consumer Reports. Okay. There yes. you go. Yes. And Shout out. Shout out to Consumer <laughs> Reports. No, I do. I always look at the um, the trends. And for major appliances, I do that mm -hmm. as well. I go to Consumer Reports. All so right. I do check on the reviews. So you do check them out. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's important today. Today, Senator Richard Blumenthal is hoping to get Amazon to crack down on fake product reviews to help consumers make informed choices. New data from FakeSpot, a service that finds fraudulent reviews, estimates more than 40% of reviews on the site are fake. Wow. They often come from bots or people who are offered cash or gifts in exchange for a favorable review. Well, that's not very nice. No, and you know, sometimes when you go on websites, it'll say that, you know, their review is part of, a, of an incentive. 
or something. Okay. You know, they were reviewing this. They were paid to review, but that's not necessarily the case, especially with Amazon. Yeah, like I'll go on a, a restaurant reviews. Mm -hmm. some, some would be this place was amazing, while others are like this place stinks. Mm -hmm. Like it just goes back and forth, you know. And I guess it could be hit or miss depending on your experience there. Right. But you just never know. You never know. You just never know so, unless it's like consistently. Right, bad, good bad, or bad. bad, bad. Good, or, good or bad. But when you have tens of thousands of people buying a product on things like Amazon, how often are you going to be sifting through the exactly. bad reviews You're when there's right. like, you know, hundreds of good reviews, right? I don't know. I don't know how easy it is to find, spot a fake review, even yeah. if it did make it out there. Well, hopefully they'll inform us. Okay. <laughs> All right, for the first time since 2015, woohoo! The UConn football team is going bowling. Yeah, not not bowling like not the kind bowling. Scott plays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're going to be playing in the Myrtle Beach Bowl on December 19th. How so exciting is that? This is so exciting. Kickoff against the Marshall Thundering Hurt will be at 2:30 that day, and there is a block of seats for UConn fans, oh, nice. and you can actually buy them at UConnBowl.com. Now UConn went six and six under new head coach Jim Mora, winning five of the last seven games. The bowl game will air on ESPN and on the ESPN. PN app. I think that's exciting for UConn. I just feel like UConn is always doing well. Hockey. <laughs> Everything. Uh, football. Yeah. Uh, basketball, basketball, the women's team, the yeah, men's team, they're all just, crushing. Good for them. Yeah. I, you know, it's really good. And you know what's nice? Their tickets are pretty affordable. They start at $30 for this bowl game, but they're going quickly. I so. went to a women's uh, basketball game a couple years ago. It was so fascinating to watch these women in action. So any of the sporting teams, I'm sure you're going to make, uh, you'll have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, small businesses are a great place to find holiday gifts. And for parents, we've got an extra treat. Yes. We're going to stop by local toy stores all month long to show you what you can find. And today is our first one. And Marcy Jones is live there now. Marcy, where are you? Hi there! We are at Necker's <laughs> Toyland in Simsbury. So excited to see you guys. It was such a great time for my IFB to drop because I couldn't hear you say hello. So I'm just going to say hello. We've got so much to see here. If you've got a little girl at home who wants to be a princess or a little boy as well, we've got so many fabulous things. We've got crafts. We've got books. My nephew, I know, he's two years old. He's really obsessed with cleaning up vacuums, brooms in particular. So we've got stew covered here. We've also got a lot of history here. Necker's has been around for 75 years. I was just chatting off camera with one of the owners, Deb, who said, it's really nice whenever she gets somebody who comes in and says, hey, I remember your mom and dad owning this toy shop way long ago. Now her and her son are working it. It's really cool. We've got everything to cover. So coming up, we're going to go over all that. We'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right. Thanks, Marcy. You know, when